What is up, folks? Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snaggle J here, director of live content services for Out of the Park Baseball. Pissed off that my stream deck is not working. I don't know what's going on in the stream deck chat. Stream deck's broken. The sounds were working. I don't know what's going on. The OBS fans are messing. Anyway, we will not be deterred. As this is a brand new episode of This Week of Perfect Team. It is episode number 90. For September 17th, 2020, we have a brand new set of content on tap for tonight featuring Switch Hitters. What? Hogan Warrior was not WrestleMania 3. It was WrestleMania 6. This is a WrestleMania 3 t-shirt. It is Macho Man Randy Savage and uh, Ricky the Dragon Steve. WrestleMania 3 was Hogan and Andre. Come on, Sheeple King. Get with the program, brother. Uh, what team on the couch? I'm wearing a Red Sox hat tonight. I'm wearing a Red Sox hat tonight. Has, I haven't worn it in a while. Thought I'd change it up. Uh, anyway, got a great set of content tonight. Chat, listen. I don't want to say that the next... however many weeks are absolutely must watch content here on the channel because most of you guys realize that every single week is must watch tv here on the channel but we've got switch hitters tonight next week we have what will be the biggest episode in the history of this week in perfect team when we reveal the final five face of the franchise team rewards and all eight of the toppers uh, so that's going to be next week october 1st we've got snaggle jay's fantasy camp that's going to be a lot of fun october 8th we've got fall phenoms 12 Brand new peak cards on October 8th. And then October 15th, 22nd, and 29th, we've got wall to wall postseason coverage. Uh, postseason coverage. Three straight weeks. And then that gets us into November and all kinds of crazy stuff. How do those toppers compare? Uh, Cy Young will not be the best pitcher in the game for very long. Let's focus on what we got at hand tonight. We've got switch hitters. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got all kinds of them. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. There it is. New content switch hitters. Of course, all these cards are available in packs now. They are available in packs now. In packs currently. Uh, in packs now. Man, chat is going so fast. Holy moly. That is some big talk. I know. And chat, here's the thing. Think back through the first 89 episodes of This Week in Perfect Team. How many times have I hyped something up and then let you guys down? It's only probably 10 or 15. So, like, I'm, I got a pretty good average with not letting you guys down. 85-ish? What? C come on. Wow. You guys are mean. I'm going to screenshot the chat right now. Hang on. And I'm going to tweet this out. How to suck the mood out of a stream in one picture. Hold on. Let me, let me screen cap this. How to suck the mood out of a stream 
in one picture. Man. Uh, 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 uh. That's terrible. You guys are... You guys are mean, chat. That's... You guys are mean, chat. It's awful. Well, anyway, listen, I'm not going to let you down next week. Maybe. I don't know. Now I'm second-guessing everything. Maybe we'll just call the whole thing off. All right. Switch hitters. Now, I had mentioned it earlier. I mentioned it in the Discord earlier today. I think for the first time, I think for the first time in the history of TWIPT, we're probably going to drop the best card first. I'm going to drop the first card and then we're just going to leave. I'm just going to not even show you guys the other 11. We're just going to call it. We're just going to call it good. So our first switch hitter is Iron Omar Vizquel. And really, are you going to beat Iron Omar Vizquel at any point? You're not going to beat Iron Omar Vizquel. Just, let's just go home. Let's just, let's shut it down. Let's just not, not talk anymore. Let's just, let's just bask in the glory. That is Seattle Mariners, unsung hero, 59 overall Iron Omar Vizquel. 43 contact, 52 gap power, 11 power, 56 I 75 void case, 58 speed. I mean, if you play iron tournaments or if you play cap tournaments and like to play a defensive guy at shortstop and you don't mind spending a few extra points from 45 overall iron goat Mark Belanger, there's the man to talk to right there. Iron Omer Vizquel, 1991, Seattle Mariner. Iron Mar Vizgoat. That's going to catch on real quick, I think, chat. That is the wrong Mariners logo for 91. Probably because nobody in 91 was worthy of being a Mariners card. Why is it that one? Hang on. Let me make a note of that so I don't forget. Um, 91, it says 1991 on the logo, huh, now, now I'm curious, chat, where did that one come from, hang on, listen, there's an invaluable resource on the internet chat that you guys all should be using anytime you guys have a issue with this. Yeah, that's the one that they only used up till. It should be the baseball with the M's in it. it. Should be the baseball with the M and possibly S in it. Yeah. We'll get that fixed up, chat. Don't you worry. Again, there's probably so few. No. Nope. All right, so there we have Iron Omar Vizquel. Go get him. He's probably going to be easy to find. It's in packs. It's in packs. It's not only just in packs. It's in packs. Now, so go get him. Next up, we've got Otis Nixon. Now, I have one huge problem with this card. How do you give the guy an 84 bunt for hit? when he bunts for the 27th out in the last game of the World Series. Automatically, bunt for hit should be zero. Nineteen ninety two, sixty four bronze, Otis Nixon, 66 contact, uh, 62 avoid Ks, 94 speed, 84 steel. I got a little bit of range in the old center field as well uh, with 83, not much of an arm. Otis Nixon didn't have much of an arm. Uh, again, the 83 uh, bunt for hit, 84 bunt for hit. I don't know. The arm was about half that. He's not. You're not wrong. Nixon also, by the way, holds the distinction as being one of the few players who have played for both the Montreal Expos and the Toronto Blue Jays in his career. Not that list is not. 
very long of people who uh, uh, who played for both Canadian teams. Otis Nixon is on that list. So there you have it, 64, bronze, Otis Nixon. Boom, he's in the game. Next up, we've got the man with too many characters in his last name. Salty is here. 75, snapshot, silver, catcher. 57, contact, 75, gap power, 67, power, 55, I. 37, avoid case. Braves legend, Red Sox legend. He played, didn't he play for the Jays for a while too? Or did I, am I just blocking that out of my mind? Here's a question. Is there a team that Salty did not play for? He did play for the Jays for a solid 10 games. Texas, Boston, Miami, Arizona, Detroit, Toronto, Detroit. I mean, in that 10 games at the Blue Jays, he was a hot fire 040 at the dish and struck out 16 times in 25 at-bats. I'm surprised. In fact, I'm shocked they did not keep him around. Last name sounds like a drink at Starbucks. Yeah, can I get a mocha frappa salta la I like it. I like it. I like it. I said Toronto like an American. It happens. I'm trying to Americanize myself to appease you all, chat. Should have been Jay's face the franchise. I don't disagree. He's way better than Robbie Alomar ever was. Anyway, there you have it. He's in the game. Enjoy him. Speaking of another guy who's in the game. Hard hitting Mark Witten. That's right. Hard hitting Mark Witten, 1994-75 silver snapshot. 62 contact. 60. What do you mean? Hold on. What do you mean you were expecting Dishnet in the booth again? What in what is going on here? I expect was expecting Dish in the booth again. I mean, listen, Dishnet did a fantastic job on this. Listen, and first up, Dishnet did an amazing job on this week. Perfect week. I was watching. I was in the chat. I was having fun. My team made it to the fifth round for like the first time ever. But when you get to Thursday night, there's only one guy to bring the thunder. There's only one guy to bring the hype and the real. And Rich will be here in 45 minutes to do all that stuff. But for now, you're stuck with me. I'm just saying. (laughs) Hard hitting Mark Witten, four homers and 12 RBIs. Was that in 1994? I don't know, but he's got a snapshot. Let's assume it was. 62 contact, 60 gap power, 76 power, 48 I, 43 boy case, 54 speed. Uh, not great defense. It's, uh, it's not anything I'd get excited about. I need a rally cat. Probably one around here somewhere, but he ain't be rallying. Let's keep it moving, chat. Let's move in now. Speaking of Canada and Canadians and baseball. Devon White. Now again, this card, the 104 range, completely explains the should have been a triple play in the World Series. Wait, that was 92. Still, he had the range still the next year. Was it 92? Yeah, it was because Gruber was playing third base. Should have been a triple play. Devon, get the tables. I like it. I like it. 53 contact, 75 gap, 56 power, 53 I, 40 avoid case, 73 speed, 111 range uh, rating in center field with a 104 range, 84 air, and 53 arm. He didn't have a great, he didn't have a great arm. 
But again, uh, how many more Jays we getting tonight? At least four more. Wait till you guys see. Wait till you guys see peak Blue Jays Mickey Mantle. It's great. Oh my God, he's the greatest Blue Jay in history. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Can't wait to show you guys that. Ah, uh, yes. Why not a 79? I don't know. But he's not. Let's keep it moving because I've got more switch hitting Blue Jays to show you guys. Like 1902 Claude Ritchie. That's right. We're going way back for switch hitters. 1902 Pittsburgh Pirates snapshot. Claude Ritchie, 82 overall. Look at the defense at second base, 75 range, 100 air, 70 arm, 78. Turn double play. Famous, yeah, the famous 1902 Pittsburgh Pirate Jays. Uh, little known team back then. I think the abbreviation in game is PBJ, uh, which stands for Pittsburgh Blue Jays, not peanut butter and jam, obviously. Uh, and then he moved up to Toronto towards the end of his career. Which happens, you know. One of those things. Dan Vogelbach absolutely should be. Chris Colabello is a, literally the definition of a snub. Who says peanut butter and jam? I don't know. Canadians do. We call it jam, not jelly. It's just what it's called. Come on. Again, it's it, it, like literally that's what it says on the can. Or the, the little mason container that it comes in. Jelly. We have jelly also, but it's not what you put on toast. Oh, no. Jam's way better. Come on, chat. Chat. Be better, chat. Chat, come on. Come on, chat. Come on. Come on. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Really? Uh, I mean, I'm not a big jam or jelly fan. I'm just a straight up peanut butter guy. Anyway, I don't like mixing my like peanut e tasting things with like fruity sweet tasting things. It's just not my, not my speed. What did dish say? It's still good either way. Yeah. I mean, I, I could go for a good thing of strawberry jam just about any time. Uh, Lady Marmalade. Oh, baby. You guys are going to get me singing. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. It's time to go, sister. Hey, sister. Ho, sister. Ozzy Smith is in the building. Gold Ozzy Smith blowing the gold shortstop meta out of the water. Goodbye. To any other gold shortstop you've ever thought about using. Because this is the one you need right here. Gold Ozzy Smith. That is not peak Ozzy Smith. It's, it's got the number right on the card. 1987. There is a peak Ozzy. He's a 100. Right? Um, well, we can allow that one. Uh, 67 contacts. 71. Power, four power, 66 I, 88 avoid case, 87 speed, 94 stealing, 96 base. But look at the defense. My word. Chat, we still got like seven, five, six cards left. I don't know how many, but it doesn't matter. Ozzy Smith, Omar Vizquel. Let's just call it quits now. Just, just, just shut it down. Let's just shut it down. Let's just shut it down. Let's go home. Let's go home. It's like when Vince Carter won the whole, won the dunk, home run derby, won the dunk contest, and they just said, let's go home. It was over. What's the point after this chat? What is the point now? We've got, we've got the Viscal. Now we've got the Ozzy Smith. I mean, hey, what I don't want to have happen is you know we're we're rolling at an eleven right now. Things are hot. Things are things are things are on fire. We don't want things to chill down. 
We do not want things to get chilly in the chat. We do not want cool down. We don't want to be chilly. We want to stay hot, hot. Okay, I guess we can use Chili Davis. If we're going to get chilly, let's get Chili Davis with 1984 center fielder. Chat, I'm on fire today. I'm not going to lie. Chat, I- I'm I'm full of it today. I- I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm into it today, chat. 79 contact, 58 gap power, 93 power, 56 speed. Chili Davis, baby. 1984 San Francisco Giants historical all-star in the beautiful rainbow color text that I love so very, very much. 87 overall gold. That's right. Come down to Crazy Christmas. The cards are absolutely bonkers. Hmm. I did want to check that. One moment, please. Wait. I am on another planet right now. Why are we running into this issue again? Why? Rich, are you here? Or is he just hanging in the chat? Hang on. One moment, please. On the moment, s'il vous plaît. We're just checking something out, chat. We ran into an issue on Monday where the drops kind of got frozen in time and like we could see that the data was pulling in but it wasn't adding up in time so we've been monitoring that to make sure that nothing has been going sideways but anyway um oh it's definitely working it just doesn't seem to be there he is. All right. Rich is on it. Rich is on it. We'll let Rich be on it. Uh, where are we at here? How many cards we got left? We've got four more. <clears throat> four more. Four, four more. Let's keep going. Let's get into... Let's go for a rip. Let's go for a rip with Ripper Collins. If you're looking for a professional gold hitter... Ripper's got you covered. 78 contact, 73 gap power, 110 power. With a 115 power against righties. Ooh-wee! 53 I, 56. Avoid case. Not a whole lot of speed. Not a whole lot of defense. But, man. You want you want uh, you want somebody that can hit the ball at the gold level? What team? Uh, Cardinals. He should be a Cardinals card. I don't know why the Cardinals logo is not on this one. They, maybe there are issues with logos this week. I don't know. But he should be a Cardinal if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. Chipper, Mickey, Bernie, Frankie, somebody has to go. I could easily get rid of all four off of that list if you'd like. Cancel Ripper Collins face the franchise? I mean, absolutely. Probably. All right, let's move on to the Diamonds. We've got... Ken Caminiti, big swing in 1996, hardware heroes, Ken Caminiti, killing the lefties, 91 against lefties, 79 cap power, 112 power, 48, I 60 avoid case, which all told overall, 79, 67, 96, 56, 51. Should have been. Uh, absolutely. 
Why not a 92? I don't know. Why not a 42? Why not a 63? Why not a... Uh, that's all right. We'll let that go for now. Why not? Why not a ninety-one? Hey, it is a ninety-one. Come on. Stealing's been horrible. We're nerfing stealing across the board. Jeter was first, and then we just we decided to ruin the rest of it after that. Now we've got two more cards, and we're making a big jump. We're making a big jump from the 91. Because really, there was nothing between 92 and 99 that interested me at all. I had a big list. I looked at them. They were all boring. Boring diamonds. Yawn. Why would I I want more, more diamonds? I don't. I want the perfects. We've got two of them. First up, let's fire up the DeLorean. Let's go way back. Way way back in the way back machine to somebody who is definitely not Frankie Frisch. Somebody in the Discord last week says said I would really love if it was if this guy was on the content. And and I mean obviously I know who's on the content, and I kind of smiled, and I said, well, it's going to be your lucky day, because we've got perfect George Davis. 84 contact, 87 gap power, 86 power, 79 I, 73 avoid Ks, uh, big bump. On the uh, right-handed pitching side, 86, 89, 88, and 81, 75. Uh, 70 speed as well. He's got a little bit of speed in there too. 70 speed, 82 stealing, 67 base running. And pretty, pretty elite defense. 99 range, 110 error, 99 error. 99 turn double play joker hey it was funny the first like six times now it's just starting to annoy me like guys when you guys say something funny in chat it's funny like the first two or three times but like when you start saying not enough speed on every single card it's not funny anymore it really isn't i don't mind a good joke a couple of times we're not getting ex- exclamation point steel command. Let dead jokes die. Only complain when it's less than a 90. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that that's a fair bar to set. Sorry. Uh. All right, hang on now. Let me. All right. Uh, how are his outfielder stats? Yeah, I could probably look that up real quick for you guys. I have the ability to do that if you guys want to just uh, be patient for a couple seconds. Um. See and then here see here's the part that I that I love about when you know when anytime I say anything that can be perceived as negatives, you guys get dingleberries who come out and say things in chat like they will ban you without hesitation and cause. Get a life, dude. Please. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Be better than that. Please, chat. Come on. I'm gonna look up his outfield stats. I'm looking up right now. 
You guys know that's not true. Like, seriously? Can't with you guys sometimes, man. I really can't. Uh, they are in cards now, yep. They are in packs now, sorry. Yes, they are, yep. <laughs> Six, 690 plus. That's a lot of speed, dude. That's a lot of speed. Yeah, I know. We're looking into the drops, Corey. There's something going on there. Same, we're having the same issue that we had uh, on Monday. Somebody's looking into it. Who is this? George Davis? Peak ratings. Uh, his outfield ratings are 66 range, 40 air, 66 arm. So not super great. Not super great, uh, but not not bad. Not 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 could be better, could be worse. Yeah, th that's the thing is it, it there's there's so many moving parts to the drops between the data that comes from Twitch. So if there's something, if there's an issue with the data coming from Twitch, which is what the problem was on Monday, there's nothing we can do. If we don't get the data, the viewer data from Twitch, we can't pay the drops. And that's exactly what happened Monday. For some reason, the data wasn't coming from Twitch, and then eventually, all of a sudden, it just started. It's just, it's, yeah. It's just one of those things, man. One of those things. All right. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Yeah, it did, Daryl's. I, I don't know if it has, a, if it's related or not, but. We have one more. We have one more card. I don't think it's really going to surprise anybody. I feel like we've been in the market for an elite switch hitting outfielder for some time i have made plenty of tim rains references in the discord over the last few weeks that nobody in their right mind would ever ever be surprised that we were going to have tim rains in a switch hitters content set. like i've literally been making it rains as uh nosy kyle said I've been making it rains for the last couple weeks in the in the chat. And that's why tonight's headliner is Peak Mickey Mantle. 106 contact, 91 gap power, 114 power, 97 I, 64. Avoid K's. Ha ha. I trolled y'all, chat. I trolled y'all. 88 speed, 78 stealing. Very, very, very good defense in the outfield as well with a 114 uh, or 113 positional rating in center field, 102 range, 107 air, 79 arm as well. I know I'm going to ban myself for trolling the chat, uh, which I'm, I'm sorry. You, I, I mean, you could ban me for trolling if you want, but isn't it more fun? It's See, it's fun for me when I troll. Can, there is no infield ratings. It's Mickey Mantle. He played first base. Uh, his infield ratings are probably really bad. Uh, I don't still have the game open though, so give me a minute. I will look it up just because I looked it up for Davis and I've now set a trend. I'm sure his infield ratings are absolutely horrible. Uh, but I'll look it up anyway. It, it'll just take me a second. And then that'll drag it out a little bit longer because I know you guys love that when we do that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Isn't it? No, that's not what I wanted at all. Uh, open PT history. Uh, filter. Mantle. Peak. Ratings. Uh, 23 range, 39 error, 33 arm, 
23 turn double play. What do you mean that's the art of the other mantle? No, this is a different one. It says historical legend on it. The other one would be different. This one's got the legend uh, the legend badge, which means it's the peak card. The 1957 it would probably be like an all-star or something. I don't know if it's... Is it an all-star? Uh, which one is it? Uh, it's a Hardware Heroes. So it probably looks similar. So uh, there you go. Peak Mickey Mantle. Everybody wanted him. People been asking for him. Makes up for Joe D being faced. I love that DiMaggio has faced the franchise. And I love salty Yankees fans who are upset that DiMaggio is the face of the franchise. That I, I, fuels me. Metal, Davis, Caminiti, Collins, Davis, Smith, Richie, White, Witten, Salty, Nixon, and Omar. Omar up here. Are your switch hitters content. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ad hoc something in here that you guys are gonna like. Because of you know what? Listen, here's the thing. I'll be, I, I'm going to get real with you guys just for a second. I want to get real with you guys just, just for a few minutes. Because I'm looking at the thing. 700 people here right now. Right? I get that. I really do. I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys are here. Um, it has... I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. The last couple weeks for me personally have been tough. I got a lot of stuff going on at OTP. I got a lot of stuff going on at uh, my, my I don't want to say my real job, but my full-time job. Uh, my kids have started school, which has been really stressful with all the COVID stuff. And, you know, it, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a mess. September for me, with, and then face of the franchise is going on and all the stuff that comes after that. And we're looking at PT22. And it's just, it's an absolute train wreck for me. And, you know, uh, yeah, the drops seem to be working now. Uh, we just had 548 drops go out. So, again, just a patience thing, chat. Uh, it's going to work. But here's the thing. Ultimately, whether you guys choose to believe it or not, I get a, uh, there is a certain satisfaction and a certain... Uh, Peace of mind I get out of doing this show. I was here for this week of Purpose Team episode one. I will be here for episode 100, 10 Thursdays from now. We've had Lance McCullers Jr. on the show. We've got a special guest coming up on a future episode that I'm not really at liberty to discuss yet, but it's a thing. We've got so many great content that's happening. We got Face of the Franchise next week. And you know what? Sometimes. I just enjoy like being able to give stuff back to to the to the community and 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 to you guys who who sit through here when when you know when we go through the good times and the bad times. So I I am going to show you guys the ratings for one of the face of the franchise toppers. Just one. Not telling you who it is. Not telling you what division it's for. Or whether it's an overall topper. None of that stuff. But I am going to show you guys right now. The topper ratings for one card. Now, if you are if you don't want to see them. I completely understand. If you want to mute the stream, close it down. You don't want to be spoiled. I perfectly understand. I appreciate you guys. But, uh, okay, Nate Dog, uh, I, uh, we're not at liberty to discuss sales ahead of time. If I did or did not have knowledge of an upcoming sale, 
Our licenses with certain web stores that we are part of prevent us from discussing sales ahead of time. So when it comes to whether we may or may not be having a perfect point sale, we're not at liberty to discuss that ever. Um, Steam uh, and a couple other places where we have the game, we're, we're not, we're literally not allowed to talk about it. It's part of our agreement with those, uh, with those places. When we do like a one-off, like when it's just us doing it, like a special event or something, we can. But there's, there's some, there's some legalese in there that uh uh that we're real, that we usually okay so if you don't want to see it look away now if you do want to see it just a second i want to make sure hang on i want to make sure this is going to work right I got I to gotta get it all fixed up here, chat, so it looks good. All right. Hang on. I'm coming back. Don't worry. All right. This is the only look you guys are going to get at this. Don't ask me to post it in the Discord. I know somebody's going to anyway. But I would kindly ask you to not, please... Maybe I will post it in the Discord later. Actually, okay. Actually, what I'm going to do, because uh, I know Dishnet usually posts these, I'm going to politely ask that nobody post this in the Discord. I will post it in the Discord with a spoiler tag when we're done the stream, uh, just so everybody can see it, but with the spoiler tag. So I will kindly ask that nobody share this screenshot in the Discord, please and thank you. And then I'll do it, and I'll, I'll share it as soon as the stream is over. So, you guys ready? There it is. This card. Now, again, I want to keep in mind, the ratings are not 100% final just yet. But, there you go. That's your first look. That's your first look at what you're going to see next week on the biggest episode of This Week in Perfect Team ever. Now, how much you want to bet I'm going to open the Discord and somebody's posting it already? I'm watching chat. All right, guys. Hey, this has been a super fun stream. I am looking so forward to next week, uh, which will be, again, as I've said, uh, the, the absolute biggest episode in the history of this channel, the history of this week at Perfect Team, one week from tonight. Set your calendars, set your alarms, be here. I can't wait. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the follow button down below. If you're watching on your mobile device, give it a tap, hit a follow, turn the notifications on so you get that little pop-up uh, when uh, whenever we go live here on the channel. Rich is going to be here. Um... In about 15 minutes. We're just going to be here in about 15 minutes to do his perfect team uh, Thursday night relegation uh, sh shabazz, whatever the heck it is he calls it these days. I'm looking forward to that. Guys, as always, I hope you guys have a great evening. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Uh, I will be here a week from tonight. I already can't wait. Guys, as always, I've been Chris Tree, a.k.a. Snaggle J, Director of Live Content Services for Out of the Park Baseball. Go find yourself some of these great cards in packs now. But in the absence of that, until next time, keep swinging for the fences. <laughs>